Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's Steve coming at you. Hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to touch on some recent events that have been taking place that I just, I'm amazed. I really am. Uh, how willing people are to change the narrative. I just, I'm amazed at it. And so, this is going to be a little bit about sports, but it's also going to be about culture because the two in this particular story intersect. And so what you had would happen, for those who don't know, a couple of days ago, uh, Drew Brees, who is the quarterback for the New Orleans Saints NFL football team, great quarterback, going to be a future Hall of Famer, uh, has given a lot, done a lot in philanthropy. He and his wife really believe in it. Um, has given a lot to the community in New Orleans. He was there during Katrina. They've given millions of dollars to the Katrina effort. Uh, and Ray helped raise money for that effort. They've given millions of dollars to, to this whole COVID-19 uh, BS effort. Um, but they've given out, they've given money to help uh, the people in New Orleans when it comes to that as well. And very well liked, very well respected around the NFL. Well, I did an interview, I think it was with Yahoo Sports or something, a couple of days ago, and he said, they were asking about, you know, since the George Floyd thing and the, and the cop kneeling on his neck, if the kneeling in the NFL gets revived, how does how does he feel about that? And he essentially said, look, I, I don't agree with it. I never agree with anyone who disrespects the flag. I had two grandfathers who served in World War II. When I see the flag, that's what I think about. And it almost makes me tear up. Uh, but they, they fought and died, and many others like them fought and died for the freedoms that we have. And... You know, he said, are we are we where we need to be as a country? Nope, we got a long way to go. But I think that standing shows that we're all united. We're all in unity to get this thing done together. That's what he said. That's what he said, okay? And he got dragged, dragged on social media. Dragged. Made no sense that he got dragged the way he did on social media. No sense. Because what he said was true and was right. That's how the flag makes him feel. He doesn't agree with anybody kneeling about the flag. And, oh, my goodness, current athletes, including members of his own team, past athletes, people who know him, people who played against him and played with him, people who know him have been dragging him on social media. Been dragging him. And it made no sense to do that. They all say, oh, this isn't what this is about. And it's all because the George Floyd thing is still raw. And I guess people who just don't want to hear that, hey, let's all stand in unity rather than kneel and, and kneel in disrespect. They didn't want to hear that. They said it's never been about the flag. It's not about the flag. Colin Kaepernick didn't say it was about the flag. This thing has never been about the flag. But here is the problem with that argument. And the media is doing it. The media is really pushing, especially sports media and regular media are really pushing this thing. Here's the problem with that argument. Colin Kaepernick himself said it was about the flag. When he first started kneeling, what, four or five years ago, he was in the NFL. And basically what it was was he got benched for a quarterback that, is not, that he's actually better than, but he was playing so badly, he got benched by the coach. He was sitting on the bench because he didn't appreciate losing his job as a starting quarterback to a backup. So rather than stand... One of the guys on the team told him it's probably more respectful for you to just kneel. And he started kneeling. Now, when he was interviewed, he said, and this is almost verbatim, okay? I'm going to try and remember the quote exactly. He said, I am not going to stand and take pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. I'm almost sure I have that verbatim. That was what Colin Kaepernick said. I am not going to stand and take pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. Those are his words. Nobody made him say that. So for all you punk ass, liberal, elitist, sports media, former players, all y'all who are saying that this is not about the flag, I get what you're saying that it's about police brutality, but, but, but Colin Kaepernick made it about the flag. 
Colin Kaepernick made it about the flag. So stop lying. He made it about the flag. So obviously, that's what it's about. It's about disrespecting the flag because you don't you don't appreciate police brutality taking place in the U.S. against unarmed black men and women. I get it. I don't appreciate that either. But I served almost 10 years in the U.S. Air Force. I stand to put my heart over my hand, or when I was in the, when I was in the military, saluted for the flag because it stands for more than just that to me. The flag to me doesn't stand for police brutality. And the fact that you can even twist it to make it seem like that's what it stands for is pathetic. And what's funny about this to me is the people who are propagating this idea are rich black folks or black folks who are doing extremely well financially for a country that oppresses black people out of the lips of multimillionaire black folks. Miss me with this. <laughs> Miss me with this. It's okay, and I agree. We should care for our fellow citizens. We should make sure that the bad cops get get gone. We got to reform police unions. We got to we got to go after the bad cops, and the police have to be involved in this whole reform of that system to get rid of those people who shouldn't be working in the police force. I agree with that, but the flag stands for more than just that. See, the simple fact that you live in a country where you can do that bullshit and kneel at your job where you're getting paid millions of dollars to do it should show you how little oppression there is for black folks. So there's some countries where black folks really do get oppressed. Really are oppressed. So if you want to talk about oppression, we can talk about those places. But see, we ain't trying to talk about those places. See, because in America, you're allowed to be stupid. In America, you're allowed to speak out against your government. In America, you're allowed to speak out against your flag. Those things are all allowed in this country. And at the same time, rake in millions of dollars while you're doing it. But, yeah, we're all pressed. Miss me with that. Do we have some bad actors in this country? Yeah, we've always had bad actors in this country. This country is not, I'm not looking for a saintly country because there are none on this planet. But I tell you what, I've traveled around the world. I've been to a lot of different countries and a lot of, and seen a lot of different things and visited a lot of different people. I would rather live here than anywhere else. And the funny thing is, all these people complaining about how oppressive America is, we'd rather live here too. But that, that I tell you that. That I tell you that. So miss me with all this crap. Drew, I agree with what you said. I'm disappointed that you had to walk it back the day you were forced. However, whether through a publicist or whatever, however it happened, that you were forced or felt the need to apologize for it. You didn't say anything wrong. And you shouldn't have apologized for it because now, even though you have apologized, for some in the mob, that's not enough. So you, you bow to the SJW gods and that religion doesn't, once you bow, they, they smell, it's like blood in the water for them. You shouldn't have done it. But, hey, you did what you felt like you had to do, I guess, in apologizing. You should not have done it. But you didn't say anything wrong. You talked about how the flag makes you feel and how you don't think it's right to disrespect the flag. Colin Kaepernick talked about how he thought it was right to disrespect the flag because of police brutality. And that's the bottom line. So let's stop saying this is not about the flag. It's never been about the flag. It has always been about the flag. Miss me with all this bullshit that it's not. Drew, you were right. Media, you're a bunch of liars. Can't be trusted. American people shouldn't have anything to do with any of you, including sports media. But I do want to thank the sports media, especially FS1. That was a channel I watched a lot. Uh, wasted a lot of time watching that channel. Uh, they had shows on it that I like, but everybody's been so involved and so hyped up on either the George Floyd thing or the Colin Kaepernick thing and beating him over the head with it that it's cured me of that. I have zero desire to watch sports media. I'm going to watch the game. When the football games come on, I'm watching the games. And that's all I care to watch. The rest of y'all can have it. I hope all your ratings go down because most of us who are trying to enjoy sports and not watch it for this. This stuff is on the news every day, all day, 24-7. We're not watching sports media for this. 
so maybe if you get somebody who disagree with me, you might say, Steve, you just don't understand. This is about police brutality against white people, um, black, white cops and black uh, people, unarmed people, and, and Colin Kaepernick's right, and all these people beating up on Drew are right. Okay, cool. If that's how you feel, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs down. That's great. If you like what you heard, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment as well. I'd love to hear from you. I thank you all for just the being a part of this channel. Please help it grow by spreading the word. I really appreciate anything you can offer in that respect. Thank you all for being a part of this. I look forward to hearing from you again soon. We'll talk again later. Y'all take care.